government expects to see more transparency and accountability from corporate bodies funded by the state. In this regard, a corporate governance workshop was held today with the aim of ensuring that procedures and guidelines are adhered to. These are just some of the organizations that depend on government funds to carry out their functions. They were brought here to clarify and promote what it means to be accountable and transparent, not just hollow words, but practical measures that each of these participants are expected to apply in their organizations. We believe it is very, very important to have these workshops because apart from the rhetoric, there's a practical application on good governance. It is quite um, disconcerting to be quite mild about it when you read Auditor General reports for year in, year out some of the organizations in which you are a part of some of the organizations in which you were, you were not a part of or weren't a part of the sort of practices that took place was in fact quite um, uh, it's quite depressing Sayed Kayum adds organizations are not only guided by their respective legislation but also the intent of the government which funds these entities. The manner in which those boards and organizations decided that they were law unto themselves is very, very um, uh, mind-blowing. He says in revamping the Companies Act, they hope to make board directors and trustees more accountable as it should have been from day one. I have seen just even in the past six months not necessarily in your organizations, but many other organizations that are funded by government, where decisions are made even before, for example, positions are advertised. The workshop was facilitated by former High Court Judge Justice Nazar Shamim, Edwin Nand, One National News.